something about using uh, prong collars. Um, you notice I've got these two dogs. And of course, Mavis, who's completely trained to walk without the leash really much. And this is Marsh here next to me. And he's a pretty good boy, but he's very dog reactive. Um, and I've been working with him for the last couple days. And the reason that I have a prong collar on him is to um, encourage him Come on, buddy. to be respectful of me because you know these are two big dogs and if they wanted to yank me down and technically I guess they could so by using the prong collar I'm just making maybe evening the scale a little bit so I'm not you see it's pretty much loose I'm not having to really pull on it or do anything to him when he sees another dog I use food to redirect him and do that kind of thing but just using the prong collar gives me a little edge and I want people to realize that these are not abusive tools, they're communication tools. And so by using this to encourage him to slow down, right? Or to turn one direction or the other, that's all I'm doing really. I'm just encouraging him to pay attention. Come here, boy, come on guys. Good dogs. And without this, um, it would be a much crazier show when he sees another dog, because he does get very reactive, kind of whining and yelping, jumping in the air. Kind of spinning around a little bit so this just kind of helps him stay a little better focused on me and when he does of course then i reward him with food and praise and tell him he's a good boy and encourage him to sit in the presence of that thing that's causing him to react which is usually a dog barking at him and we've had really good here let's go this way come on girl we've had really good success using this method i don't believe prong collars should be used to forcibly overwhelm a dog uh you know who's in a situation but i'll give you one thing it is much safer for me to handle him in the case where some strange dog comes just tearing around the corner uh, without a leash and i can keep control of him and kind of deal with the situation instead of worrying about him yanking my arm off so uh, i i did check to make sure that he's not leash reactive uh, before i started using this around other dogs and stuff wait uh, to make sure that that it was safe for us to do so come on So anyway, I just want to let people know, okay, good dogs, how my methods were here and the reason we're behind using a prong collar and that they're not, you know, tools of destruction and evil, they actually do a lot of good.